Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And I'm Penny Rand. And Penny is here to drive with us today, and she came all the way from Vermont. Um, can I just do a little background? Yes. So um, Penny's been a friend of mine and our families for decades. I mean, since like 1991, 01, 30 plus, 30 plus years. Are we that old? Yes. And um, and anyway, so but Penny would come every summer to uh, visit with all of us, and, and on the big farm porch, she would make this amazing, like this amazing wild rice salad that just was it had her personality in it full of color full of flavor full of texture and this magnetic energy to it so in the engine 2 cookbook if you look at how it's barely staying together <laughs> in the engine 2 cookbook on page what page are we page 100 is it page 100 is it, no page 140 40. and then what is it called magnetic wild rice salad I am so excited. This is one of my favorite things is to think that you're here making it. Woo! I know. She came all the way from Vermont for this again. Anyway, so if you're uh, following along, 140 um, and the Engine 2 cookbook. All right, Penny, let's hit it. What do we start with with this? Well, the key to making the magnetic wild rice salad is the wild rice. So, I like to buy this at Trader Joe's, but there's lots of places that have wild rice. But the key is that you get 100% wild rice, not a mixture of brown rice and wild rice, which is what you will find mostly at grocery stores. But yeah, you see those like almost in those like um, sort of plastic, like, yes, do this. Kind of yes, like, yes. You make it easy for you. So it you needs to be 100%. And it's all black. Yeah. Yes, wild rice. Yes. That's what makes it so good because it's crunchy. It doesn't get sticky like if it was mixed with other brown rice. You made a funny comment. Last night, we, we cooked this last night so it would be ready for today. And I was like, Penny, you think it's done? And you, from her couch, she was like, if it smells like bark and it looked, wait, what was your comment? Yeah, if it smells like bark and tastes like bark, it's all ready. <laughs> <laughs> smells like bark and looks like bark, it's ready. Yeah, so when it cooks, it is. It's really, it's very earthy tones. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of wild rice is that when you eat it, it stays fresh and crunchy. And that's what makes the salad so delicious, I think. All right, so let's construct this. Okay, so what we need to do is we will cook our our wild rice, and we will you cook it and let it. You want to rinse it after it's been cooked, and then just let it cool. Um, the beauty of this recipe too is that you can make it the day before, or you can cook the rice the day before, and then add all the ingredients the next day or just before. Have the you ever meal. made it hot? Uh, I don't think it would be as good. No. Yeah. Not at all. I've never done that. It's meant to be cold. Yeah. That's what makes it. Yeah. Okay. Which makes <coughs> it a perfect, it makes it a perfect like Thanksgiving dish because you can bring it to Thanksgiving. So, well, I, I'm Jane, jumping ahead of myself. Go, go, go. Back. any time of year I'm delicious. Right. So we had it in summer, but I'm thinking, I was just thinking like bringing a yeah. cold dish. Yeah. And it's really easy to make. Doesn't take a lot of time. Very easy to make. So, um, make the wild rice first and put it into your beautiful bowl and then you get to add all of these other beautiful ingredients so we have the next thing you have here on the list is celery so Anna, are you going to take care of the celery yes if you could chop up some celery that'd be great now do you want it skinny you want to give me an example of how it should be well i like to uh, maybe cut it in half like this and then i just make little pieces like okay. this i got it i'm good at Okay. I'll be good at this. And then, okay. um, then you have a bunch of parsley stemmed and chopped. So I'll take that on. Or you want? You want? No, that would be great. So, so I, James, I'm a lazy stemmer. So how do you do it? I I usually just yeah. I am the, I am the same because this is yeah. actually okay to eat. So yeah. you could you could just put all of that in there, or you could just peel this right off and then just chop where the ends that's, are. That's what I do. I tend to just well, yeah. So perfect. How, and you say you want a half a bunch. So I'm going to go with like yeah, this. maybe half a bunch. Is this enough? We're making the recipe that's in the book, the, the serving size, um, which calls for two cups of wild rice. And this is what it looks like in terms of the amount. And this is perfect for a family, for a dinner. Um, yeah. And Man, so if, it were, if I were there, it would be about enough for two people. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's true. When I when I make it, I often double the recipe because I really love to have it as leftovers and it lasts for a very long time in your fridge for lunch at work, for dinner the next night. 
it's great for a whole week and it's a really healthy thing to have in your fridge at, as a go-to. Your breakfast commute. Your breakfast commute, all of those things. <laughs> So okay, what's that, next that, after that? Well, oh, this, this is right. Should we just throw it in there? When yeah, so once you, it doesn't really matter the order in which you put things in it. it it's all going to go in there and get tossed. So there's no particular is order. Is this good enough or do you want it better? That looks perfect. How, okay. is my, how am I doing and here? And the celery is ideal. Let me just taste to make sure it's really crispy. Oh, well, mm, it isn't. It's, <laughs> it's great. If it wasn't crispy, what would we do? I don't know. We'd um, <laughs> have to go... <laughs> Find something oh, else. Oh, we find some more in our garden. I'm kidding. We don't grow celery. Beautiful. Um, wait, I've got at one that. more. Oh, she's got one more. Okay, it's coming together. Have you actually, what, speaking of celery, have you ever listened to the, um, there's a great podcast about food called Proof? No. I think like Proof as in, doesn't bread proof? Brian, isn't bread proof? Yep. Um, I think it's a, a, a chefy term. I don't know. I'm not trained in that way. But it had a whole podcast about celery and celery was like the thing to be into in like 100 200 years ago or something like that 18 somethings and they had like celery vases they would have celery parties it was thought to be this amazing health food or whatever and it kind of fell out of favor but it's coming back because the microbiome loves celery all that fiber is just and the cool thing about celery is it's it's got a lot of natural sodium in it so it kind of adds a yeah. flavor good flavor and it's incredibly satisfying to eat because it has that crunch that you crave mm-hmm. you know you have this long celery thing and you can kind of cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. it's delicious and so good for you and satisfying because of the crunch so jane's doing some green, green onions and in the recipe it calls for how many does it call for jane you four know. green onions so this here is four green onions. Oh, and I, I'm doing and a little more. And she's just doing a little more because she wanted to demonstrate, and that's beautiful because green onions are very pretty. If you can't find any green onions and you thought you had some in your fridge and you don't, and you might have a red onion around, sometimes I substitute a red oh, onion instead. That'd be which pretty, is, pretty. Which is also very pretty. pretty and also giving you that oniony flavor. So put those right on in there. Ooh, look. I think the other piece is that I love how beautiful all of this I'll save looks. this for another recipe then, I guess. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't realize. Save that for another recipe. We'll do. Now, it also calls for um, a Granny Smith apple. Granny Smith has that nice just... It's so sharp. Sharp. That's exactly. Sharp tart. Not not tart. It's tart. It's tart. Yeah. And so, Anna's going to cut up a beautiful Granny Smith, which is... You got it? You got it. Me too. All right. Let's do a little... I have a little more leverage if we... (laughs) Yeah. this This is... Might be a team effort here. Let's see. See, we can't. Oh, oh, we I got, got a, I got splattered. We got it. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. So and now then we just cube it up. Now we'll cube it up into some smaller pieces, and you can do a whole. Jane, do you want to do that? I'll do some. Okay, and so you can do a whole one, a half one. Um, if you decide to put apple, and apple is optional. If you decide to put it in, um, you it's such a good sweetness, though. It is a sweetness, and I like. The Granny Smith. That's my choice. But you could try other apples. Um, and it doesn't go brown quite as quickly as other apples, which also... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because some apples... In it goes? In it goes. I could, I could imagine like a... Um, look at all these shades of green. I know. <laughs> but it would be... Let's look at... Make sure we have a little wild rice in there. And oh, you yeah. know you should never peel anything. So this is great. Yeah. Keep the skin on. For as sure. As we say here... Absolutely. We eat the hide. Eat the hide. Eat the hide. Okay, so the next thing that goes in is some mandarin orange. Now, I like the mandarin orange. You can also, if you can find them, blood red oranges, mm. oh. which are really beautiful. Are they hard to find? They're a little bit harder to find. How do you, you find them in a, in a... Probably in a more of a whole food store. No, but are they in a jar? Or no, in, in an orange... And you just oh, peel you mean, them. And you peel them fresh. and cut them. The fresh, okay. fresh blood red oranges. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, these are easy, easy to have in your, and they make it absolutely gorgeous. Makes my and delicious. Most water, most water, most water. So that's one can. Um, again, when you double the recipe, double the cans. And you can get Two them cans. in. You can get them in their own juices, and you can get them in water, or you can get them lightly, mm-hmm. light syrup. We like to get it obviously in its own juices, mm-hmm. just to mm-hmm. keep it less yeah processy. Yeah. Now there's only really two more ingredients besides the dressing. And these are the, the add-ons. 
The recipe calls for walnuts, which nutritionally are... It's a little bit more in our wheelhouse of adding yeah. you know, high omega-3s. Um, but Penny has an allergy to walnuts, so we're not doing that today. So sad. I'm sure I would love walnuts because I love nuts. So I use almonds, and I use slivered almonds. I think they're beautiful. And, and you the, use a lot. Well, I put That's in... That's lovely. Yeah. I love, I love this jar that they're in. This is a really pretty jar. Oh, it's kind of... Okay, it's a little bit wet. I was going to dry it. That's okay. I'm putting in half a cup. You know, honestly, I don't really measure for this recipe. And... You won't either after you make we, it a few times. Why don't we put so, the whole jar in? <laughs> I, I actually think I'm going to put yeah. about that much in. That, about that much. Yeah, I, think that looks just, that, ha, I think that looks just right. A lot of right. stuck in the bottom. There you no, go. that's just perfect. <clears throat> and then um, oh, sweetened cranberries, which I think add another beautiful color and another little texture as you're biting into it. You got a clump there. And... Now, these are tart. Yes. These are tart. And this is just right. You don't want to add too many of those. I think that's just about right. Oh, look at those colors. Mm, look at those colors. Penny. All right, here, here, and, let's get one some spoonage. Choose, yes. Choose whatever you want here. Oh, just, let's <clears throat> do this one. It says, let us eat. <laughs> and so now the final recipe, oh. uh, the final part of the recipe is the dressing, which is absolutely the easiest thing simple it is what is it what is it it's six a, tablespoons of red wine vinegar. of red wine vinegar wow. or more or less to taste so i i trust you when she made this the first time i was like wait what is this dressed with and she's like oh red wine vinegar i'm like and what else like what is this and when she said that i was like penny this is so perfectly within our guidelines of all of our of our cookbooks yeah. so I was, like, that in? I was like you've got to give us this for. recipe and it was so hard to get this recipe from Penny because she's like, oh, you know, maybe, you just add in, maybe one you just add in, you just add in. And I was like, no, I need a mouse. <laughs> so like she said, the more you make this, the more you'll realize, oh, I like it with more apple, less parsley, um, fewer of this or more of that. So let's toss it up and show them what it looks like. Yeah, and it is just, it's more freshness. The wild rice is is crunchy. You know what I love is that just the, the dressing is so darn easy. I, I, it's shocking because all of the ingredients are like adding to the dressing. Yeah. So does this look right? Does this ratio look right? Yes. It's just it's perfect. And I will is say it, that we, you can make it right before dinner. The longer it sits in that wild the, the, in the um, cider vinegar. Sorry, not cider vinegar. Red wine vinegar. Um, it, you know, it gives it a little yeah. more, right? So a little more time in there can give it a little more flavor, but you can eat it right away or you can eat it in three days from now. So let's say you have a really busy week and you know you have friends coming for dinner and, you know, you want to do as much prep as you can before your friends show up. This is one of those things that you can make three days in advance, have it in the fridge, and it complements everything. Any meal I'm, that you are going to make. I'm drooling. I may drool into that and make it all mine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, um, how we, how so I got little, I'm, I'm actually uh, salivating as well. So, uh, should we get little bowls and try it? Or how or, well, or how would you serve it? Okay, some ideas how to serve this. So, there there are, this complements anything you are serving. It can be on the on the table it can go with whatever your main course is it can be the main course yeah. and oh it would be with us yeah sure. and another one of the ways i like to have it this is probably my scandinavian background is with a very seeded grainy oh, 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 cracker yeah. mm. and if do you have a little piece of that yeah, lettuce yeah. um oh yeah i'll get some lettuce okay. yeah so um and a little cutting board here. Let's make it look really beautiful. We'll and we have this is um we have some butter lettuce. Which look at this beautiful butter lettuce. I oh I my love goodness! Love the name butter lettuce. I love it. And it it's like butter, but it's lettuce. Look at that. <laughs> it's really really pretty. I like to be able to see a little bit of the cracker. Put it in like this. And it just sort of sticks out a little bit on the side. And I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna have one on this side. You guys have those two. I'm gonna have one with just a nest of, of this. Okay, you could do that too. You could roll it up in there if you wanted to. All right. Well, so I want you to um, serve. I want you in to serve. in Scandinavia, one of 
a very traditional Scandinavian um, lunch or dinner is to have what they call open face sandwiches. And so that's often why I like to have them on a cracker like this. It's serving it in an open face um, way and they're just so pretty. Like it's, I love that yep. this is th thought of as a sandwich. Like that this is so yeah. not an American way of thinking. Mm. Yeah. You got a clump there, mommy. Look at that clump. <laughs> and I want a little. I'm want spreading a little, it out. And I so this is roll. a way to do it like that. And, or you can. And do you it. could do it in a little roll like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Hey. Cheers. Hey, cheers. cheers. Wait. Let's have a little bite. Bite. Cheers, cheers, big ears. Big ears. Wait. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. How, how, mm. how do you say it in, in, in Danish? Skål. Skål. Mmm. 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 Hi. Mmm. It is earthy. You got a cranberry. You got the one loaded. There's so many mm -hmm. textures and flavors. <coughs> and I mean, oh. oh. It is so yummy. Yeah, it's delicious. All it's right, wait, really I gotta get you one. Mm. Wait, 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 I'm gonna give you a cracker. Oh. Um. All right, hold on. I want to <laughs> I want to eat, and I want to serve white. <laughs> mm. All right. We can't talk. We just have to chew. Wait, you ready to try? Sure. Hey, let's get you set up. It has. It's just really fresh and earthy. That's all I can say. It just feels healthy for you when you eat it, doesn't it? Yes, and it's. These are a little mm -hmm. hole. There's a hole in your butter. All right. Here we go, babe. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is great. Uh, My mouth about? is also watering here. There you go. Mmm. Wow. And, and I will say, <clears throat> as you, if this is this is my favorite way to make it, but there are many variations. Start with the wild rice as your base and experiment. Mm -hmm. So many good things. You could put arugula in there. You could oh. put, um, like I said, red onions. Use walnuts. Use different kinds of fruit. Um, I think the beauty of this is make sure you use things that so it can be in the fridge for a week if you want it to be. All right. Yeah. Wade has put his camera down and mm. he's just diving into eating it. Mm. Usually he <laughs> says he needs hot sauce and he's not saying that right now. So that <laughs> is a that is a vote of mm -hmm. hip hip hooray. Mm -hmm. And I did hear you say last night you said sometimes when you're having people over you'll add a little bit of salt or pepper, which I think is a great thing. Mm -hmm. I mean. This much food and fiber and freshness, add some pepper if it helps you eat it. Add a pinch of salt if it helps you eat it. I'm not saying... But it doesn't need anything. Yeah, well, and we, we, we love it like it is, but if it helps you consume this much good stuff, give a little cha-cha with a, um, whatever the seasonings. But this is so yeah. fresh and perfect as it is. All right, you know one thing I was just looking at? I might cut the oranges in half so I get more orange bites. Oh, month. yeah. Do I, that love, too. I love the the the, mac, the I love the macro dose of the orange. <laughs> yeah, well, I, uh, <laughs> maybe double the oranges. Well, we could do that. All right. Well, we are so full of things in our teeth right now. Mm. I'm a little aware of, of saying <laughs> say, thank you to you, Penny. And, I hope I have um, parsley there. And um, please tell us what you add to your magnetic wild rice mm. salad, and we'll let Penny know. All right, so, thanks for joining know, us, Penn. Penny, I would never add anything because more than you did because it's perfect. Oh. oh. Mm. Well, right. enjoy, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.